Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Miss QT Style in the building, and I'm up late just entering contests. And I saw this contest on um, Baby Fat 1721 channel, so I said, Oh, I gotta get into this one because it's kind of asking questions about what I like to um, answer. So it's given by Diva Savvy Boutique, and it's called the Diva Savvy Boutique Giveaway. And you must make a video response and answer five questions. The five questions are listed. Um, and also do at least a one minute of lip syncing toward the end. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and um, answer the questions as best as possible. I do not like to um, like write my answers down because I like to just think about my answers on camera. So let me get started. Um, one, when you hear the word diva, Who's the first person that comes to mind? Besides myself, I would have to say Mary J. Blige. Definitely a diva, stylish, fashionable. You know, she has that, that female swag. You know, that, that, that uh, I don't want to say hood girl, but you know, street girl swag. But she has that awesome style. And she's just, she banging. I love her style. And I just think she is a total... Diva. Besides her, I would say the next one would come to mind would be um, Beyonce. But you say it once, so Mary J. Blige for sure. Um, number two, what does the word diva mean to you? <laughs> a diva uh, is a confident, fashionable, talented woman with her own style and grace. Um, a diva is someone who is uh, not afraid to um, step out of character or step out of uh, the norm, is what I really want to say. Um, a diva is just someone who just got it going on, got class, she know it, and, um, you know, she walks with her head held high, you know what I'm saying, not, worried, not giving a care about what anybody else think, just know that she is fierce, period. A per just confidence. That's when I when I think diva, I just think of a woman with confidence and who shows her confidence everywhere. Um, three, do you consider yourself a diva? If yes, what makes you a diva? Um, in some ways, yes, I do consider myself a diva, a leading lady diva. Um, what makes me a diva is exactly what I just said in the um, other answer. Um, because I'm very confident about mine. You know, if I like it, that's all that matters. I don't really care about what other people think. I'm talking when it comes down to like fashion or how I carry myself. As long as I'm confident within myself and I love me, then I'll, you know, I love it. So that's what, that's what makes me a diva is because I'm sure of myself. And again, very confident, you know, I dress well all the time, carry myself, um, like a lady uh, smell good. I have um, I'm fun. I laugh. You know, uh, um, I can be the sweetest person, or I can be sassy. I can be the sassiest person. Just straight up diva. Again, confidence. So yes, I do think I am a diva, in a sense. I'm more. I'm saying that because I'm more than just a diva. But yes, I do have some divaliciousness. Is that a word? <laughs> in me, divaliciousness. Okay. Three, I mean four, tell me about your personal style. Hmm, good question. Um, Diva Savvy Boutique, um, my personal style is, I call it, my personal style is like a pot of gumbo. And I've said this before in other videos. And what I mean is that I have so many different styles. It depends on how I feel for a day. You know, sometimes I can just be casual, you know, or then I'll turn around and be dressy, uh, professional, because I work in a professional office. And then sometimes on a weekend, I like to dress in character. Like right now, I'm doing my, now I just did a contest with the facial look, but I put this vest on because it looks like, um, like a heavy metal rock look. So that's the look I'm going for. Sometimes I'll sit in front of the camera and I'll have a nerdy look. If you look at some of my videos. So I like, um dressing in character from head to toe but it's a wearable look um my style is just fierce it's different 
Um, I set my own trends sometimes. Sometimes I go with the basic trends, but I set my own trends as well. So you may catch me one way today and then tomorrow you'll be like, is that the same person? You know, um, like for instance, I just did another contest video and I changed up three different looks. And, you know, one was church, one was casual, one was, um, you know, date night wear, and then I had a bathing suit on. So it's just my style is like a pot of gumbo, everything, everything thrown into my personal style. And that, you know, you throw all kind of meat and stuff in gumbo, that's my personal style. I'm a, gum, I'm a gumbo when it comes to fashion. And I am a southern girl, by the way, so gumbo, baby. Um, number five. In your own opinion, what are three things you think every diva shouldn't live without? Okay. They shouldn't live without makeup, hair products, and clothes. Got to have those three. To, com to make that complete look, you have to have those three. You have to have makeup because uh, a diva cannot go outside with just a plain face with nothing on, okay? I know some people can get by with this. Sometimes I can get by with it. But to me, a diva should have different looks. It shouldn't have just that plain face all the time. They should make their makeup kind of match their outfits or if they like the neutral looks, do the neutral. So you have to have makeup, okay? You have to have hair products. I would say wigs, but everybody don't wear wigs. But you have to have hair products including wigs, um, weaves, um, you know, if you're a natural hair, you have to have the oils and the eco styler. So hair products for sure, makeup, and most definitely clothes of every type, different, you know, casual, professional, going out wear, work wear, just hanging out with the kids wear, hair, makeup, and clothes. A diva must, must have that. If you don't have that, mm-mm. Okay, so lastly, we had to lip sync to our favorite diva or diva that we're feeling right now, any song of hers. So I'm going to try to remember the words to Sweet Thing. I know I'm going to mess up, y'all, but I'm singing Sweet Thing by Mary J. Blige. I will love you anyway, even if you cannot stay. I think you are the one for me. Here is where you want to be. I just want to satisfy you. Cause you're not mine and I can't deny, yeah Don't you hear me talking, baby? Love me now or I'll go crazy Oh, sweet thing Don't you know you're my everything Oh, sweet thing Don't you know you're my everything Yes, you were I know I'm going to mess these words up. I wish you were my lover, but you act so undercover. Love your child my whole life long and be right or be wrong. I make me, baby. Don't walk away. Don't be so shady. Want your money. Words I say, they may sound funny, but whoa, whoa, sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? Whoa, sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, baby. Don't you hear me talking, baby? Love me now or I'll go crazy. You're my fire. I can't deny it. I'll go crazy. You're my fire. Can't 
真难。You're my sweet baby. You're my sweet baby, sweet baby. You're my hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't say yeah. Come on. Cause you're my sweet thing, yeah. No, no. See, now I got, <laughs> I messed up the words when I got into the song, y'all. Um, thank you so much, Diva Savvy Boutique, for this um, giveaway. And I enjoyed doing this. Thank you, and good luck to all the other contestants. <laughs>